Scientists measure the age of planets using several methods, with one of the most reliable being radiometric dating. This technique involves studying the decay of radioactive isotopes within rocks and minerals. Each radioactive isotope decays at a predictable rate, known as its half-life, which allows scientists to calculate the time that has passed since the rock solidified. On Earth, scientists have dated the oldest rocks to be about 4 billion years old. However, since Earth's surface is geologically active and constantly recycling rock, scientists also look to meteorites, fragments of asteroids or other planetary bodies that have fallen to Earth for a clearer picture of the solar system's formation. Meteorites are particularly useful because they are believed to have formed around the same time as the planets, shortly after the solar system began to form. By radiometrically dating these meteorites, especially using isotopes like uranium lead or rubidium strontium, scientists estimate the age of the solar system, and therefore the approximate age of the planets, to be about 4.56 billion years. For planets like the Moon and Mars, scientists also use samples from space missions or meteorites originating from these bodies. In some cases, crater counting and computer simulations are used to estimate ages of planetary surfaces, especially where direct rock samples are unavailable. This method involves comparing the density of impact craters with known age surfaces to approximate the age of a region. Together, these techniques help scientists construct a timeline for the formation and evolution of planets, even though we can't dig into every planetary surface directly. By combining direct rock dating, crater analysis, and astronomical observations, researchers build a comprehensive understanding of planetary history across the solar system.